Hey guys, my name is Arthur and today I would like to show you how you can estimate costs of deploying of your smart contract. I think this is a quite important knowledge because uh, frequently customers will ask you, okay, how much does it cost to deploy the smart contract or how much does it cost to transfer the token or claim the token or perform some operation on the smart contract. And I think the easiest option to basically estimate the costs is just a uh, deploy your smart contract to the um, testnet and see how much gas units are spent on the certain operations because whenever you have the smart contract your smart contract uses memory um, is doing some computation inside the function and this can affect the costs of your smart contract so of course if you use the regular smart contract like ERC 721 or ERC 1155 then usually the costs are the same for the same smart contracts that are using from um, the same ERC however if you are doing any custom it's always worth to check how much does it cost. So here I have a customized simple ERC-1155 smart contract that you could see in my some of the previous videos. And right now I will deploy this smart contract to the Rinkeb test network. So if I would click here deploy, now we will see the MetaMask in weird full screen mode, um, but this is a uh, regular uh, MetaMask. And right now uh, I just deployed the smart contract. Um, so let's wait a second once uh, it will show up on the iter scan. So after the transaction is confirmed and mined, we can go to the blockchain explorer page and we can see how much um, the gas units were used for this transaction. And here we have uh, this value. So it's gas limit um, and usage. And we have to multiply this value by the gas price. And of course, gas price is completely different on the test nets and on the side chains that on the main net. And the gas price is constantly changing. It's, it's based on how much people are using the network, how network is loaded at the moment. And on the um, Etherscan gas tracker sub page, you can see that right now, for instance, um, the gas price is pretty low. The last time uh, I was deploying some smart contract for my clients, it was about 120. But you can see that right now it's super cheap because it's uh, 39 gas price. So so let's say um, that I want to deploy the very same smart contract to the mainnet. So if I would like to calculate the costs of it, I have to multiply this value um, with the G price, which would be 30. And you can see that we have this value. And this value you can copy um, to some Ethereum unit converters. And you can see that actually um, this G way uh, value is 0.05. 13 um, ether and we can just copy it to any calculator and just um, get the information how much it would be in US dollars. So you can see that um, the deployment of these uh, customized ERC-1155 smart contract would be actually approximately $141. But it's of course now with this Ethereum uh, exchange rate, Ether exchange rate, and with this gas price that also can change. However, uh, the gas usage, uh, the gas units spent uh, on, on the transaction would be the same no matter if you deploy the smart contract to the testnet or to the production on the, to the mainnet. So the main thing is that you have to multiply it by the current uh, price, uh, which is the gas price in GUA. Then you have to convert it to the ether, and then you have to calculate what would be the price for, um, for that in your fiat currency. And now let's say we want to get information about how much the minting costs. So I will just um, run the mint function. Uh, I will use token ID 100, amount one, and here test.com and let's uh, just do um, the mint again. And now we can just check this trans transaction on the ether scan. Okay, the transaction is mined. We can click to see more. And we have here um, the gas units and I will just multiply them by 29 uh, gas price in GWay. And then I can copy it to the unit converter. And finally, we can 
convert the ether and you can see that minting um, of the token with this gas price on this smart contract would cost approximately uh, six um, dollars so that's that's it for today i hope you learned something new as you can see it's super simple you have to deploy your smart contract to um, the test net you have to check how much gas units are spent then you have to multiply them with the gas price convert the gway into ether and then finally ether into um, the fiat currency if you would like to estimate the costs of the deployment on any other um, second layer solution or side chains like uh, Binance Smart Chain or Polygon, you have to do the same. However, you have to remember that um, the gas price on the side chains is usually uh, way smaller and um, it's just different on the mainnet. And of course, you are using a different token. So, for instance, uh, you are not using Ether to cover the gas uh, spendings on the um, Binance Smart Chain, you rather use BNP. And on the Polygon, you are using a Matic token. So, you have to take into consideration the exchange rate of these tokens that you are using on some other uh, side chains or second layer uh, solutions and the methodology of actually calculating the costs is the same so that's it for today thanks for watching and see you on this channel